Hello everybody, HCC here, and I want to get right to the point, and then I would like to try to answer any questions that you might have. The point is, I am retiring this YouTube channel. I'm not deleting the channel, and I'm not removing any content, but I will no longer be producing content for this channel. Uh, I am wrapping up this project, this 10-year-long project. In fact, this video should um, post almost exactly at the 10th anniversary. Uh, 10 years is enough. I feel like 10 years is enough, um, and I don't feel like it's something that um, I can move forward with. This is not a hiatus. This is not something that I am going to pick up again at some point in the future. This is something that I am uh, permanently wrapping up because I feel that this is the time to do that. There are obviously some questions that you might have, the first of which would be why. Um, there are a lot of reasons why, but it really comes down to the fact that I don't have the passion for G.I. Joe that I once did. Um, this is something that I have sat on for long enough to uh, be sure that this is not just a passing phase. It's not something that I will just get over. Um, I have tried, uh, you know, some of the things that I always used to do to kind of re-spark that passion, and it has definitely not done so. Um, I have uh, waited long enough to uh, be sure that that's how I really feel about it, um, that I, it's not something that I'm going to change my mind about, and here we are. Um, I'm quite confident that this is the time to move on. Obviously, I could keep making videos. Um, some YouTubers have done that in areas where they no longer have the passion that they once had, but they can still pump out content. Um, and of course, there's something to be said for that. Uh, if that's something that um, they can do, at least they can still you know, have a project and entertain people, but that's not something that I can do. Um, I, I would feel like I was being dishonest if I were to um, make content that I didn't really believe in. And that's something that I've never done before. It's not something that I ever wanted to do. Um, I've always tried to be uh, upfront and honest and um, never phony. Uh, with you and that would I think just be too phony and I can't do that uh, I'm not gonna lie to you I'm not gonna pretend with you and um, to just keep pumping out videos that you know I don't believe in um, would be doing that so all of the other reasons um, it, they really come down to the one um, that one reason uh, if that were not the case, then the other reasons were, would be, you know, endurable. But, um, but that's what it really is. I just, I just can't do this anymore. It's something that I've put ten years of my life in, and I've enjoyed it. Um, it's not something I regret. Uh, I have uh, enjoyed making the content. Um, I've enjoyed working with people. I enjoyed collecting. Um, this channel has opened a lot of opportunities to me for travel, uh, for meeting people, uh, going to conventions and uh, learning things. I mean, most of all, like I've got friends who um, I hope will still be my friends forever. I mean, I I've made some lifelong friends here that I wouldn't sacrifice for anything. Um, that's ultimately more important to me than, you know, plastic. Um, it's more, more important to me than, than, than videos as well. Um, and I want to try to keep those connections with those people, um, but I can't keep um, the, the channel going. I can't keep um, creating something that my heart is, isn't in. And that's where I just kind of have to draw the line. I have to be, I have to be honest with myself. I have to be truthful with myself. And that's not always easy, especially when the truth is something that you don't necessarily want to accept. But um, if I'm 
uh, frank and honest and truthful with myself, I know that it's time to stop. Uh, in fact, it's really past time to stop. Um, it's, uh, it is time to move on. Some other questions you might want to ask would be like, what about the collection? Um, well, I've got a, a fairly sizable collection here. Um, I will be keeping things that have uh, any sentimental value to me. Uh, things that were gifts, um, I will keep. Um, uh, all the things that people have sent to me, things that people have given to me in person, uh, these are mementos of uh, a special time in my life. Um, the other stuff, the, the stuff that is in the collection and doesn't really have any other personal value, which is most of it, um, I will sell. I'm, I'm in the process, in fact, of trying to uh, move some of that. The collection takes up a lot of space. I have I have no closet space. Um, half of my living space is taken up with uh, storage bins full of uh, toys. A lot of that just has to go. It just has to. Um, it's going to take a long time to um, sort through all that, to sell all of that. Um, I mean, it took 10 years to get it, so I'm hoping it won't take that long to... Uh, uh, to move it on, um, but for for anyone wondering if you know if if I will keep anything, I absolutely will, especially things that were gifts, um, because those things those have personal meaning. Uh, those weren't things that were just acquired to fill a gap in the collection, but a lot of this stuff was acquired to fill gaps in the collection. So that stuff um, over time needs to go. Um, I, I'll resort to eBay, which I don't really like. Um, I've sold on eBay before, but there always seems to be somebody on eBay trying to, uh, run a scam or get something for free. Um, but, um, I will brave eBay, um, at least for the time being to try to move some of this stuff. Um, and then we'll look at other ways to see if I can, like, unload some of it, uh, more wholesale. Um... But even keeping the things that really have value to me and only getting rid of everything else, that's, that frees up a lot of space in this, this tiny place that I'm living. Um, that would be a lot of freedom for me. Freedom, you know, to do some things with my home that I can't right now because a lot of the space is totally taken up with uh, toys and you know, the storage bins for them. Another question that might be on your mind, and it's certainly heavily on my mind, and that is um, we're supposed to have Cobra Convergence 8 coming up, um, and I'm supposed to have an appearance at Joe Fest, and I haven't completely figured out what to do about those things yet. Um, I will not be making content for my channel, so it doesn't make sense for me to make Cobra Convergence content, um, but I did you know, uh, put together some of the planning for that already. Um, we're at a point in the year where it has to be past the planning and, you know, actually uh, putting some things together, and that is not something that I've really started on. Um, so I don't know exactly how Cobra Convergence 8 is going to come about. I'm not interested in making my own content, but I do believe in the people that we've assembled um, for this uh, event um, because they are doing good things and they are still passionate about what they're doing and I do care about them. So somehow I, uh, I feel that I need to uh, make sure that they, uh, they, they get the attention they deserve um, without compromising my own principles um, about what, what I think I should do. So I don't know exactly what the answer for that is. <clears throat> in regards to Joe Fest in, uh, in June, in Augusta, um, I have already got the room. Um, I had uh, reserved a table space. I had asked for a panel, but at this point, like, I want to go but I would like to go just in the capacity of a, 
you know, a regular attendee. Uh, I don't want to go for the purpose of promoting something. Um, I want to go and see people and devote all my time to seeing people because uh, that'll be my last chance. That will be my last chance to see a lot of um, these people that I care about because uh, moving on for me means moving on. It would, it means uh, uh, not uh, you know attending these uh, conventions as I have been. Um, so it's kind of a, a last hurrah, a last chance to really see people in person. Um, of course, I'll see some folks in the future. Um, you know, I, I do sometimes uh, meet and hang out with friends individually, but in the um, in the context of a GI Joe centered convention, this will be the last opportunity. And I'd really much rather focus on that than doing any kind of promotion or panel or, you know, booth or table. Um, so I'm not, I'm really not sure what I'm going to do about that either. I don't know if um, the other participants would want to take that over and run with it. Um, they would like to do something with it. Um, I'm, I'm really not sure. So I don't have specific answers for that and it's something that's really weighing on my mind because these are things that I had planned to do and I don't like backing out of things that I planned to do especially when they involved other people so um, I don't know what the answer to that is um, but I've got a little bit of time to figure it out but I've got to figure something out pretty soon the patreon I will eventually take down I'm going to leave it up for a little while um, I did incur some some debt uh, in the collecting and the production of some of the uh, videos and the uh, the patreon helps you know pay off some of that debt um, I don't want to anyone who's on the Patreon to uh, continue to support the Patreon if they're not comfortable supporting it under those terms. So um, I'm letting everybody know now, um, if you're on Patreon but you don't want to continue to be on Patreon if you're not getting new content, um, this is the time to, um, uh, to delete that or to, to cancel your subscription to that. Uh, I completely understand. I don't want to take anything from anyone that they are not willing to give. So I'm uh, letting you know now. Um, once the uh, the that debt is paid off, then I'll shut down the Patreon as well. Um, but um, at least for a few months, I need to keep that going so that I can uh, so I can pay some of that down. Um, so if, for those of you who do stick around, thank you. Um, it really helps. It helps a lot. Uh, it's greatly appreciated, uh, but please do not make um, make it any kind of financial hardship on yourself. If there's even the slightest doubt about whether you would want to continue to be on the Patreon, I'd rather you not be. I'd rather you, you uh, cancel than to do something that you would regret down the line. So please consider that um, and uh, update your... Uh, Patreon subscriptions accordingly, um, but regardless of whether you stay or you go, uh, your support has meant a lot to me. Um, it really kept me going during some very difficult times. Um, it kept me afloat when I didn't have uh, much else to keep me afloat. Um, it, uh, it saved me uh, on more than one occasion, so thank you for that. Um, I'll never forget that. Um, you've done um, you've done everything that that you need to do. You you don't need to do any more. I, I appreciate you for everything that you've already done. So thank you uh, from from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, and I'll never forget your support. I've been asked by a couple people if I will ever do anything on YouTube again, and uh, my answer is well, maybe. Um, I. I Feel like I've spent half of my adult life on YouTube in some capacity or another. Um, so, I mean, I may someday do something. 
but um, but it won't be this. It won't be this channel and it won't be this content. Um, if something inspires me and I feel like you know I want to run with it and do something with it, um, then then I will. But um, I don't I don't have anything like that in mind right now. Um, I just won't I won't discount it for the future. But it won't be this this project. Uh, this project is wrapping up. In regards to um, the production of content on this channel, and in regards to uh, my participation in the G.I. Joe fan community, all I can say is I did the best I could. Um, somebody smarter could have done better, but I did the best I could. Now, this channel accomplished far more than I ever thought it would. Um, I thought the channel would uh, max out at 10,000 subscribers. That was my target. Uh, I, I thought that would be about the top end. And um, as I'm recording this, we're uh, close to twice that. That's far exceeded my expectations. This channel has been successful beyond my wildest dreams. Um, so There's nothing more really to accomplish with this channel. It's already done more than I ever thought it would do. Um, I don't have any subscriber goals. I don't have any um, projects that um, uh, that are undone that I really, you know, passionately need to do. I feel like I've done what I wanted to do and done far more than I wanted to do. So uh, as far as you know, the success of the channel has been wildly successful. It's been one of the most successful things I've ever done. Um, and I have you to thank for that. So uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing um, in the fun times. And um, thank you for helping, you know, make this such a roaring success. Um, I couldn't ask for any more. Um, you know, I really, like, I really, there's nothing more to do. There's nothing more to accomplish. I'll say a few words in regards to community. Um, the G.I. Joe fan community has meant a lot to me. Um, you have meant a lot to me. Uh, it's not something that I will be um, a part of in the future, but I, I do still care. I, I especially care about a lot of the individuals that I've gotten to know through that community. So, um, it matters and it has mattered to me. Um, I have tried to build. Um, I, I've tried to build rather than tear down. Um, I've tried to um, include rather than exclude. Um, I, I may not have... I, I know that I haven't done everything uh, right. I know that I've made mistakes. Um, my mistakes were made with the intent of, of doing good, but, you know, um, you know, good intentions, you know, do not, uh, necessarily produce good results, but I, I tried. I did the best I could. Um, for those of you who will carry on in this community and hopefully build rather than tear down. Uh, hopefully you will include rather than exclude. Um, I will offer a, a few words that you can take or not, you know, take them for what they're worth. But whatever community you have will be the one that you build. You will have the community that you create and you cultivate. And if you, um, if you participate in that community with uh, the values of inclusion and the, the values of caring and the values of um, building and creating, um, then you'll have a healthy community and you will uh, do well. You will have, um, you, you'll be able to support projects and conventions and uh, Kickstarters and uh, YouTube channels and podcasts, and you can have you can have all of those things, um, and I hope that you do whatever you support. That's what you will have, um, and I hope that you make wise choices. I did not always make wise choices. Um, 
in my uh, in my effort to be inclusive, um, I would often give people the benefit of the doubt, even sometimes when there wasn't really any doubt. And that didn't always serve you very well, for which I apologize. Like I said, somebody smarter could have done better, but I did the best I could. Um, and I hope that what I'm leaving is at least as good as what I found when I first arrived. Um, I, I at least hope I didn't do uh, any damage. Um, I, I certainly tried not to um, because this community means something. It means a lot. It, um, it's a community that, that saved me more than once. Um, so what happens to it has always mattered to me. When you start dividing a community this small, those individual uh, divisions aren't necessarily enough to support the kind of projects that we've had over the last 10 years. Um, if you're, if you're a, a Star Wars community, you can divide several times over, and each of those divisions is still large enough to have movies and TV shows and um, Kickstarters and, um, and everything else, conventions, all of those things that you get uh, when you have a good, healthy, thriving community. Um, the G.I. Joe fan community is not that big. Um, and uh, when we start dividing up tribes, each tribe doesn't have, uh, isn't big enough to, to do those th things, the things that really um, are, are the benefits of having the community, the, the, the gatherings, the, the conventions, the, the things that we would do to uh, look at each other face to face and sit in the same room and talk to each other. Um, the, uh, the Kickstarters that gave us like these uh, amazing books and um, action figures, entire action figure lines that came from the uh, efforts of this community. Um, you can't you can't have that in a community this small small if you start if you start dividing it up. So keep that in mind um, as you go forward with your community and deciding how you want to approach it. Um, that that's at least that's how I approached it, um, and that was even the source of some of the mistakes that I made. Maybe you are smarter than me, and maybe you can do a better job than me. And I certainly hope that you try, and I very much hope that you succeed. I think that covers everything that I wanted to cover in this video. Um, this should be, I believe, the last video uh, uploaded to this channel. Um, thank you. Thank you for everything. Uh, thank you for 10 years. Thank you for uh, the kind of support that, honestly, I only dreamed of. It's just, it's almost surreal how um, amazing the support has been over these 10 years and how, uh, you know, what we've built together. Um, thank you for that and um, good luck. Uh, Come to Joe Fest, um, Augusta, Georgia, June 2024. Come see me if you can. Um, some of you I will see uh, because we have we'll have opportunities to get together um, outside of conventions. But for those who you know are only able to make it to the conventions and that's the only place that we might see each other, then this is this is um, this is my chance to. to to see you, to talk to you, to shake your hand, and to thank you in person. So make it if you can, um, and continue to support your community and continue to build. Thank you, and goodbye.